Before we get going then, we just wanna set our database up just so we know exactly what we need to store. And this isn't a lot at all. The only two things that we really need to store is the source to the video, because remember, we're gonna be using that HTML5 video player to serve that video from Amazon S3, which Clipchamp will upload to Amazon S3 for us. And we also need a unique hash to identify each video. Now, the reason we're choosing a unique hash is because if we were to choose an ID, these are incremental, so they're very easy to guess. So I don't have a database set up at the moment, so we're gonna go and add a database. I'm gonna call this Videoify. So inside of here, we need one table, and this is just going to be videos. And we have an auto-incrementing ID, that's fine. It's a primary key of the table, it's unsigned. We have a length of 11 here by default. And of course, more importantly, is auto-increment. So although we're not gonna be using this to reference each video that's uploaded, this is useful to have anyway. So the two we want to create then is the source. This is our video source. And I'm gonna create this as a varchar and a length of 255, that should be plenty. We're not gonna allow null for this because we always want this to be filled. We're also gonna create a hash column as well. And this is gonna be 64 characters in length. We're later gonna be using the PHP random bytes function to generate a random string here for us. And of course, we don't want to allow null on this either. So that is pretty much it. Really simple database. Let's jump over and start to look at how we code out the video upload button.